It's closed. Well, that was unfortunate. Sure was. If you've been watching our vlogs, we've been traveling through parts of Massachusetts and up the coast of Maine, and we're showing you where we're staying, what we're eating, and where we're exploring. But we made one big mistake when we were planning this trip. We had no idea that Maine is shut down in the month of April. Yeah, not all the places, but a lot of those kitschy roadside lobster shacks and some of the eateries actually close for their off season until the middle of May or Memorial Day weekend. We've been here before but we've only been here in the summer months so we never ran into this issue before We also learned that you can't trust Google because not everyone updates their Google hours. So it, at times it was a bit of a bummer, but I think we were able to find a lot of places that we wouldn't have visited or ate at if those other places would have been open. Yeah, there's still plenty of options. Oh yeah. And I would say if you've been to Maine before, especially if you've been here a few times, April is a beautiful time to visit because the crowds aren't here. But if it's your first time coming to Maine, we definitely recommend checking it out in the summer. But that was our huge mistake and we made it for you so you don't have to make it. So learn from us, do your research, call places, don't trust Google. Okay, moving on. So we spent some time driving up 95 and we stopped in a few small towns along the way. This is Stephen King's house. And one giant Paul Bunyan statue. So then we went to Acadia for a few days and now we're heading down one of our favorite routes to take. That's Route 1 in Maine. So let's grab some more blueberry coffee and hit the road. Let's go. So I'm never gonna let you go I'll hold you forever Oh baby, I'm gonna let you know that We belong together I think you're gonna regret this decision. Just go for it. Just go for it. Don't slip. Not bad? It's not too bad. Get in there ankle deep. I mean, I wouldn't want to swim in it, but I'm in the ocean. <laughs> We're at the Rockland Breakwater right now. We walked the whole way out on the breakwater to the lighthouse at the end. It's about a mile long and it's just beautiful rocky and you feel like you're just walking on the ocean and you hear the waves all around you and under you. Yeah, last time we were here was about two years ago. We actually caught the sunrise from the breakwater. It was beautiful. There were just a few lobster boats out catching lobsters and uh, I, th I think the one guy was listening to Katy Perry, which was like completely random and yeah, funny. Yeah, it's but... weird the things you remember from, uh, yeah. <laughs> from vacations. But... <laughs> but so much fun here and if you're driving along Route 1, this is definitely a stop you want to make. up an appetite. We're gonna grab some good food. Probably some seafood. So we have some good news. The famous Red's Eats in Wiscasset is open right now. It's crazy because usually the lines are wrapped around the building. This is the first time I've seen it where there's only a few <laughs> people out front and that's one of the perks of coming and they're off season. So we're gonna go eat. Yeah. 
you have picked two of my favorite things, you're gonna <laughs> love it. Awesome. So we didn't think that Reds was serving their famous lobster roll until the middle of May, but we got there and they had their market price listed and their lobster rolls, man, they're fully loaded. There's like lobster meat falling out everywhere. You have to eat a lot of it with your fingers, but so good. We also got the fresh sea scallops and those are amazing. I would say if you come to Reds, definitely try those. So now that our bellies are full, we're gonna head to our hotel and just relax for the night, but we still have a lot more of Route 1 to see, so we'll see you soon. at all today. Good morning, we're now in Old Orchard Beach. In the summertime, this place is buzzing with tourists, but as you can see, it looks a little bit different now in the month of April during a rainstorm. And a pandemic. So where we last left you was Wiscasset. And just a reminder, we are working our way south on Route 1. If you're traveling south on Route 1, you would pass through the town of Freeport, but we spent some time there last week. We walked around to some of their downtown shops, hit up the L.L. Bean store, and had a fantastic dinner at the main beer company and really great beer too. Also in Freeport, we stayed in a really cool renovated school bus called the Celebration Bus. So after Freeport, if you're heading south on Route 1, you will also pass through Portland and you definitely don't want to miss that. But we were there last week as well. If you missed that video, we stayed two nights at a boutique hotel called the Blind Tiger and it was one of our best hotel stays ever. Then we just walked around the old port, ate some great seafood and just took in some of the sights of Portland. So as we said, we're in Old Orchard Beach now. I think we're just gonna walk around a little bit, see some of the shops and get a bite to eat. We just wrapped up a fantastic breakfast at Cafe 64 in Old Orchard Beach and I said wrapped up because we had a burrito there, you get what I'm doing there. Well, we actually stopped there because it came highly recommended by good friends of ours back home. Their family actually owns it. So we knew we had to stop there and we're definitely glad we did. So if you're in Old Orchard Beach, make sure that's a stop on your list. They're known for their cinnamon buns, but they were sold out because they're just that darn good. So we had our breakfast burrito and we also got a blueberry muffin and just really good food there. So now we're in the town of Kennebunkport. It's really charming here. There's the boats on the water, lots of shops, really great restaurants, but you know, we filled up over brunch, so we're not gonna eat any of that. But I did pick up some saltwater taffy, because when you're on the coast, you gotta try some of that. I don't think I've had saltwater taffy since I was a kid. So I got a blueberry muffin flavor. Very fitting for the Oh. <laughs> there it goes. There it is. Just try round two. It's so windy out today. Oh, this, is, this doesn't feel fresh. <laughs> it's in their off season. It's, I don't want to like pull out at filling. Oh, yeah. I do can chew that. I'm going to suck on it. Mm. Uh oh. 
I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's like Laffy Taffy, but it's really stale. <laughs> Is the flavor good? No. Where are we heading to right now? I don't even know. We're Ogunquit. heading south. Oh, Gunquit? I don't know. Don't look. Something like that. We're gonna check out another lighthouse. Maybe if it's not rainy. Yeah, the weather's been so moody, but it's okay. It's, it's April. It's April. Wait, Wait it's May. But it was April. Is today May? No, Today's, tomorrow's May. Oh, it's April. It's April. <laughs> like, the last two weeks, though, we've had really great weather. So if you have a few rainy days on a trip, you can't complain. What's a stop on Route 1 without a stop at the wine and the wine and cheese house? Stop at the wine and cheese house. Stop. <laughs> so we're in Ogunquit right now and there is a cliff walk. It's about a mile long and it's called the Marginal Way Cliff Walk. It's so beautiful. Yeah, the weather really cleared up. It's like the perfect day for a walk here and I believe there's a little lighthouse at the end. It's like our pot of gold at the end of the walkway. is really easy to walk on it's all pavement there are some like small little hills but it's nothing challenging at yeah, all why don't you cl can climb it can you climb up there it's called lobster point it's locked for covid Our last stop along Route 1 is Newick's Lobster Pound. It's right over the New Hampshire state line. And our good friend Tammy recommended this place so we knew it was going to be a gem. We came for their steamers. So we asked our waitress the process because we've never had these before. Yeah, you have to separate the, the main part from the neck. <laughs> Go for okay. it. Sure. Oh my gosh. So we take this apart mm -hmm. and rinse it. Hot! <laughs> Is it hot? It's like boiling water. <laughs> Is it? Oh, you <laughs> dunked my fingers in it. Okay. <laughs> Very similar to mussels, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more like squishy, not as chewy. Oh my goodness. It's kind of weird to look at, I won't lie. <laughs> it's like, is that its head? <laughs> it's the neck. It's the neck. Where's its face? <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you separate it? I'm trying another one. That one doesn't have one. I would say that they're not pleasant to look at. I wasn't expecting this kind of texture. I'm gonna give one a try. Just can't look at it. I don't know if I'm a, I'm a fan of steamers. Well, we have some fried foods yes, coming out Yes, that next, sounds so. good to me. If you do like steamers or you want to try them, this is probably the place to come, so you'll have to try for yourself. But this looks great. I'm very excited. I'm Ooh, assuming... Oh my gosh, that's my, oh my piece. Gosh. That's yeah. my piece. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a clam strip. It's not a shrimp. <laughs> Yeah, I think from now on, this is how I'll take my clams. <laughs> this is delicious. Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> this is the way you do the clams. Yeah, yeah fried. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we also got fantail shrimp. Cheers. Mm. 
That is good shrimp. It's so fresh. All right, so the fried clam strips were definitely more my speed, as Laurel said, but we had a great dinner here at Newix, and I could see why this place is highly recommended, and it has that New England vibe to it. It sets along the water. It's really cool. So now we're going to get some rest, and we're going to explore Boston for the next two days. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video because you don't want to miss out. We'll see you soon. So put me on a train. I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. Need an RV, no plans, just you and me. I need to go somewhere